on yay, on yay, on yay, on yay. When I think of Elton, though, one thing that comes to me head. But here's the, here's oh, the thing, let me get back to this, though, is the, um, yeah, celebrities and them just being normal. Yeah. Because I, I always ask, well, a lot of the time I ask, who's the biggest dickhead that you've met All in right, the business? Yeah. So who is the biggest dickhead that you've Tim met? Tim Roth. Anyway, Never so... Uh, Had it prepared. Who's he again? Uh, I think he owns Blackburn. Yeah, no. So I'll oh. tell you about Tim Roth in a minute. But what the the amazing the thing, thing is, the dickheads really stand out. Right. You know, right. it's not the kind of it's not the. Um, what do you mean by stand out in a good way? Well, you no. could, because you think that celebrities, before you become one and become ingratiated and know the great and good, you think that they're going to have an ego, they're going to be pompous, or there's going to be an edge to them. And I'm pleased to announce that um, most most people, 98% of yeah. people that I've ever met have been lovely and charming and affable and nice. But the ones that aren't stick out. And right. Tim Roth was a dickhead. What is he famous for? He was in a, a, lot, he was in a film, uh, Reservoir Dogs, oh. back in the day. And he was also in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And we were just at a bar and he sticks out as being the, the top. What did he do, though, to make you feel such a bad first impression? Okay, okay. so I was a big fan of Reservoir Dogs and a big fan of right. Pulp Fiction and uh, there was Tim Roth so he's a bit of a hero isn't he's that, a right? hero say so never meet your heroes yeah he's a, he's a hero I think you're doing really well today thanks yeah no, he's a he, he was a hero he's just done a Prada campaign and he looked great in the Prada campaign and he's and I love those films uh-huh. so I was kind of like touching the forelock meeting him I don't know if I should be telling this story ah uh, fuck it ah uh, fuck it and fuck him so um, <laughs> we're at the Groucho Club and I go up We've to him been. and I said, um, I, Mr. Roth, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, but what, love your films. So you've just done the Prada campaign. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. And he's like, who are you? And I went, uh, my name's Rob, Robbie. What do you do? I'm in a, a band. Uh, I was in a band called Take That. I'm not, oh yeah, I've heard of them. Really dismissive, incredibly dismissive, and then was dismissive of the whole room. I was playing snooker with uh, uh, what's his name, Keith Allen, mm-hmm. and Stephen Fry, yeah. and it was like really just like wow, this is I've never experienced this before. He goes over to speak to my girlfriend at the time, and um, he turned to me and he said, "How did you get a girlfriend like this?" And I uh, undid my pull cue. Went over to him, put it up to his face, and I said, uh, I know how it feels to be insecure. I'm really insecure myself. But the next words that come out of your mouth better be fucking nice. I'm going to wrap this fucking porky around your head. <laughs> and he left. So that's my Tim Roth story. And then Who's the reservoir music, in? dog's music started yeah. playing, and you were back away. Yeah, yeah. Good, good decision maker, that Tim Roth. Yeah. Good decision maker, at the very least. So, yeah, so there, was, there, there, there is a resentment that's lasted. Uh, that, is that in the book, Chris? Not in this one. It no. is now. It's in the next one. Right, yeah. It's in the next one. Uh, Elton biggest, John. It, it, have you met a celebrity that's pissed you off? I've met a few YouTubes um, that would piss me off. I mean, 